I am not sleepy and I will not go to bed. Written and illustrated by Lauren Child, featuring Charlie and Lola. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mum and dad ask me to try and get her off to bed. This is a hard job because Lola likes to stay up late. Lola likes to stay up colouring and scribbling and sticking and wriggling and bouncing and most of all, chattering. Charlie, do you know what happened today? Listen to this. Usually, when I say Lola, Mum says it's time for bed. She says, no, I'm not sleepy and I will not go to bed. I say, but all the birds have gone to sleep. She says, but I'm not a bird, Charlie. But you must be slightly sleepy, Lola, I say. Lola says, I'm not slightly sleepy at six or seven or eight and I'm still wide awake at nine and not tired at all at ten, eleven, twelve and I will probably still be perky even at thirteen o'clock in the morning. Lola says she never gets tired. One night I say, but if there's no bedtime, there can be no bedtime drink and it's pink milk tonight. Lola really likes pink milk. Are you sure you don't want to go to bed? But Charlie, says Lola, if I have pink milk, the tigers will want pink milk too. Tigers, I ask, what tigers? The tigers at the table, Charlie. They are all waiting for their bedtime drink. Tigers get very cross if they have to wait. So, I make pink milk for Lola and three tigers. It's delicious, Charlie. Then I say, let's go and brush your teeth. So Lola says, but Charlie, I can't brush my teeth because somebody is using my toothbrush. But who would use your toothbrush, I ask. Lola says, I think it's that lion. I saw a lion with my toothbrush and now he's brushing his teeth with it. But isn't this your toothbrush, Lola? I ask. Oh, says Lola, he must be using yours. So, Lola and one lion brush your teeth. Then I say, you must have to take a bath. You look a bit grubby. Who says? Says Lola. Mum does, I say. She's coming to check in one minute. And then what do you think Lola says? But Charlie, I have a bath. I can't have a bath because of the whales. What whales? I ask, looking around. The whales that are swimming in the bathtub. They're taking up all the room, she says. Well, what do you want me to do about it, I ask. Maybe you have to help me shoo one of them down the drain, says Lola. So I help Lola shoo one whale down the drain. And then Lola hops into the tub. Now, Lola, I say, where are your pyjamas? I don't have any pyjamas, Charlie, she says. I say, what about these under your pillow? Those are not my pyjamas, says Lola, shaking her head. Oh, no, those pyjamas belong to two dancing dogs. Well, do you think they would let you just borrow their pyjamas? I ask. Maybe, says Lola. But you will have to call them on the telephone and ask. And off I go to call two dancing dogs. What 
What are they saying? Lola asks. They say the pajamas suits you better than them. You can wear them whenever you like. Oh, well, that's awfully nice of them, she says. And so Lola gets into her pajamas. At last, Lola is ready for bed and I say, Now, Lola, I have given three tigers their pink milk and watched a lion use my toothbrush and shoot one whale down the drain and telephoned two dancing dogs about pajamas. Now, will you please hop into bed? Lola says, Yes, yes, Charlie. I'm hopping, I'm hopping. But Charlie, says Lola. Oh, don't tell me, I say. I bet I can guess. There's a huge hippopotamus in your bed. And do you know what Lola says? Don't be silly, Charlie. I wouldn't let a hippopotamus into my bed. But I think there's one in yours, says Lola, and she snuggles under her covers. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Hippopotamus. The end.